Hey everyone, Clara here. It's been a while since I've last made a video, so we have a lot to catch up on here. I tried to make a script two weeks ago, but it felt too frustrated or whiny or ranty. While I want to show the ups and downs of my channel, I want to make sure it's in a relatable way and delivered correctly. So I scrapped it and waited until my mind was a bit more organized. A week ago, I tried again. It was better. I even recorded, edited, and made an entire video for it. But it still did not feel right. So I decided against posting it. I feel a little bit better now. A bit more out of my funk. I'm not sure if it's frustration, burnout, or just getting overwhelmed in my growing to-do list. Perhaps a little bit of all of it. While there is so 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 much for me to set up, do, create, and that in itself feels a bit tremendous. And at the same time, I feel quite excited for all that's going on. That's to be started, created, and set up. So in that sense, I'm doing all right in this ocean of to-dos. What eventually accumulated to my tumble was that I have adult ADHD or ADD. When I was a child, my brother and I were diagnosed. My brother was ADHD and I was borderline ADD. Back in the 90s, research on ADD or ADHD wasn't very extensive, and even then, girls and women went under the radar, many becoming undiagnosed as they display very different symptoms than boys and men do. So if I was borderline matching a boy's symptoms, that pretty much meant I probably have it. I do my best not to self-diagnose. I take what I read with a grain of salt and as a guideline, but it is always important to get a proper diagnosis from a trained professional. Well, if you live in the good old U.S. of A, that's not quite easy. The U.S. does not consider physical or mental health to be of importance, so that being said, it is something I will need to save up for. I really want to be properly diagnosed, see what's going on, and what I can do to help treat it. Get medicated if I need to. Because as it sits right now, my mind is a tornado of a mess. I am the typical forget to drink water, forget to feed myself even if it doesn't look like it. Things I know I need to do, I forget or procrastinate for absolutely no reason. Or that executive dysfunction, which I'm beginning to strongly feel I suffer with. Starting tasks, finishing tasks, focus, distractions, spending too much time researching something, but never executing the subject I was researching. It was stumbling and frustrating, and I told myself I would never allow a large gap between videos. But now I am starting to understand that we are human and sometimes life just takes a baseball bat to you. I know if I had more control over my tasks, I would be so much farther than in my to-dos than I am right now. Things I've been wanting to set up, I could have gotten rolling already, being productive or just being useful. But enough of my nonsense, let's get into exactly what happened during these past 30 days. After a couple of month delays, my printer finally came in as you see me setting it up here. I've been excited to get it, hoping I can use it to scan in artwork, create prints, and maybe stickers down the road. And just general uses for printing, like recipes, so I don't have to squint at my phone. I was reluctant on a printer for a while, but my very supportive husband nudged me to get it, and I'm happy I did. One surprise I came across this month is that I got to have a free helicopter ride. It was during my father-in-law's work barbecue, and they had forums for the helicopters. A very lovely surprise, and I got a bird's eye view of Northern California. Then we went to a county fair, and it was fun to see the personality differences in my 10-year-old and 6-year-old. I was very proud to see my 10-year-old get over some hesitations and complete rides that had some heights in them. Don't worry, if he didn't want to do it, we didn't push him. Completing these were his choice when he felt comfortable comfortable enough to do so. I am very proud of him. But all those social gatherings left me feeling wiped, I tell you. My social batteries drain fast. So I was happy to retreat back to my little hermit room and work on more comic concepting. Here we have the map I am working on. I even made the custom brushes for the mountains and trees for Brule. I just need to draw on the capitals for each nation, some towns, and they'll be good to post this to the website. The website also missed some updating in the month, but what I would like to do is put in a news feed for major updates. 
Those of you who have signed up to the email newsletter will get emails for when a section of the website has gotten a juicy update. Another thing I was working on during this time was an art study for Yusuke Murata for One Punch Man. I love his line art and first I started this in pencil and I'd like to do an ink study over it. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen some of this progress. While working on this map, I'm also trying to craft a little video reel for Instagram, which I'm hoping I can post the audio on TikTok and here as well too. It's the if my OCs had no trauma trend meme thing. I'm probably putting way too much effort into the art, but I'm honestly enjoying the process. The second pictures will be painted over, so it should be fairly simple as half of them are already a base to work on. Only a few require complete new pictures. On a final note, one thing I'm going to hope to do is since my bullet journal's a bust, I'm going to just turn it into a to-do list for that day. Having physical to-do lists in front of me help. In high school, I would just write it on my arm. Hopefully I can keep it on paper and check it off as I go. I'm going to try and catch up to where I should be in July. We did get some script revisions for the comic done early, so that is very nice. If you're still here at this part, thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and then subscribe for more comic and art videos. It helps my channel grow and for me to share the comic with more people. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Bye.